Welcome to another episode of It's Time to Go. Just counting some money here. Hey, Justin, sorry I'm a little late. What what you doing in there? I'm just counting some money. It's, uh, you know, kind of stuff from the offering plate. I took all the cash out. Um, and going to head down to Jackpot here later tonight, but just trying to right. count all of this. So that's hundred and... I don't think that's what we're supposed to do with that money. Yeah, yeah, I know that people gave it to the church and not really to me, but, um, you know, the story for this week is, uh, the story of this parable that Jesus tells. He, uh, he says it's okay to steal from your employer, and since the church is kind of my employer, I figured I'd yeah, just Wait, take what? this. I don't, I don't think that's what this story means, Jesse. Yeah, yeah, the parable of the dishonest manager. He's, uh, he steals from his uh, owner, and at the end, he's praised for it. So, steal from your employer. Kids, that's the lesson that Jesus teaches no, us. No, Justin, you're not making any sense here. Uh, so, this is the parable of the dishonest manager, but that's not what it means. Uh, well, what does it mean, then? Well, uh, when I've heard this parable before, I think about the many ways that the money we touch all over the place is dishonest money. And so, you know, the money that I earn is earned by someone else giving it that is probably using it in dishonest ways. And uh, someone has gotten swindled somewhere along the way. So all the money that we touch is dishonest money. Wow. But if it's all dishonest money, I might as well keep it and do whatever I want with it, right? No. Uh, actually, I think what this means is that all the money that we use is dishonest money, but we can do it for good things. And so that's what this dishonest manager in the story does. He takes uh, this money that he's kind of swindled his owner out of, and he decides to make good deals for other people and actually reduces their debt so that they're going to have a better life. So it's another week where Jesus tells a story about broken people that God uses to do amazing things and God still loves them and God still forgives them and shows grace even though they're broken. I've yeah. heard this story before. That was like the same story last week and the week before and the week before that. It's, so. it's amazing how Jesus keeps doing that, isn't it? I guess we have to give the money back to the church. Well, I mean, as long as you're giving me a cut. 10%? Sure. All right. All right, let's head down to the casino. Uh, in the meantime, you guys have a good week. We're going to double this and bring at least some of it back to the church. Yeah, we might give a few bucks, you know, to some charity along the way, too. Yeah, that would be good. God would like that, absolutely. Yeah. Have a great week. It's time I, to go. I know we're going to have a good week. Bye. Bye.